So the other day I was watching this music video by Wednesday Campanella and this shot suddenly appeared. And it really got me thinking, how the hell did they pull that off? And so I went into Adobe Premiere and I thought about it for a moment and it hit me. And this is what I came up with. So if you want to learn exactly how to pull off this sort of forced perspective trick, stick around as we hop into Adobe Premiere. All right, so we're gonna hop into Adobe Premiere and to really pull off this effect, all you need is two shots. I already imported my footage here, but you're gonna need one shot of you stepping over the object, quote unquote. Make sure that you actually clear the object. So for example here, my foot actually goes above the house that I'm going to be quote unquote stepping over. And then you're gonna need another shot. It's just a clean slate. So you typically want a tripod for this. Low angle is probably best. And basically just hold on the shot that's static and leave it on, preferably without the shadow, but it doesn't really matter. And there you go. So there's the two shots. And now we're just gonna start putting them into the sequence. Um, doesn't really matter what you do first, but I'm gonna do my myself walking. So we'll grab that. Step over and run. And now we'll cut here. Boom. Footage only because I don't need audio. And then for the clean slate, it doesn't matter either. Just make sure it's of equal length. So I'll just grab like that, put it over, and match it like that. And there you go. So we have our two shots. And if we click the eye to see what's behind each layer, you'll see that they match in terms of the position of the house. So that's why you want to shoot on a tripod and don't move the camera between your shots. And then it's really as simple as setting up a mask. So on top, we have the clean slate. So that's why when I scrub through the timeline, you only see the top layer. And that's fine because what we're gonna do is we're gonna select it, go to effects. And on the opacity tool here, we're gonna actually use the pen tool and we're gonna draw out our foreground. Obviously the more time you spent on this, the better, but uh, I'm gonna do a pretty rough draft. So here I'm gonna go zoom in a little bit. You can do that by clicking that menu. And I start off screen and just kind of drag around Oops. with the pen tool. Sometimes it gets a little finicky like that. You saw right there. Um, if you get too close to another point, it thinks you're trying to drag that point. See, like even, even when I'm zoomed in, it'll do that. So I'll just accept that and just kind of draw around. There we have it, that's the first step. And as you can already see, it is now made everything that's not selected in the pen tool transparent. So you can see that I'm already standing behind, quote unquote, the building. And now we're gonna go onto actually removing this mask as I step over. So to do this, make sure you still have your mask selected in case you deselected it. You can just go over to the effects here and have it selected. And we're gonna go select one frame and then once it moves you might need to zoom in again actually i think i'll do that and i'm going to add some points here to actually bend down and sort of reveal my shoe as i step over and we're gonna have to do this <laughs> for every frame so bear with me So as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm as I move each frame forward, I make sure that the leg that's stepping over stays over and the leg that's behind the building stays behind until it steps over. This is a little tedious, but you can just use the hand tool, draw more points if you need to, and then move the existing points to keep your subject revealed in this case. So a little quick progress check, like I said, it's a little tedious, but we can go back now and see how this animation has played out. So let's see, let's give it a watch. So there, the first step looks pretty clean. The only thing that really doesn't sell a trick is the shadows hidden, but since the shadow is hitting my other leg, I don't really want to add it over here. But if you know any other effects, you can always try to add it and animate it yourself. 
but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to simply mask out my other leg now and then complete this effect. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now that I'm all out of the frame and everything matches with the mask, I can simply cut the top clip, delete it, and allow the rest of the clip to play as normal. And so I'll run into the foreground. So let's give it one watch. There you go. Of course, um, if you really want to get technical with this, you can actually try to reveal this shadow probably a bit sooner and cleaner than I did. Um, I'm going to leave it like that for now because for the purposes of this tutorial. I guess that's a, a separate problem for another time. That's probably why I think in the music video, she did this in the shades. So you don't have to worry about shadows. But in any case, that's how you can do like a sort of forced perspective in Adobe Premiere. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Of course, please leave a like and comment down below if you did and let me know what other effects you'd be interested in learning about. And of course, if you have After Effects, please tell me how you can do this in After Effects because I am 99% sure it's a lot easier to do in After Effects. But in any case, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.